Welcome back. Happy Wednesday in an air-conditioned vehicle traveling through the hot hole filled hills of Jamaica. That's my intro. Sonia, what today's 10 minute talk is about. Are you ready? No, it's not actually. <laughs> I mean, it can be, but I can be. That actually should be part of it. You're right. But we are talking today about the word contentment. Contentment. Contentment? Mm-hmm. Want to take over? Content, contentment mean need content content with whatever you got. Right. You don't like want too much. Yeah, and that's where as we are gradually falling into a more comfortable lifestyle with air conditioned vehicles, with now even fans and all of our rooms with the exception of the kitchen that somebody didn't want. <laughs> we're, we're, I don't know. I'm starting to try to make sure that uh, we have contentment not only for ourselves but also for those that we have living with us at this time. And I'm starting to get the feeling of like, you know, those celebrities and people that have done well and have become successful for themselves that came from not much. They, they have developed a work ethic, they've developed the ability to persevere, and then they have kids. And those kids <laughs> grow up in this affluent lifestyle and don't know what it's like to have to try to earn what they want in life. I'm starting to get some reservations about the level of contentment that we're creating for the children in our home. That's her. Yep. yep. That's your response. Yeah. I'll give an example. This is why we're talking about today. Last <laughs> night was the first night that we have had ceiling fans in all of the rooms, including the bedrooms. Normally, we've done this the standard. I don't know, standard fan, whatever you call it, stand-up yeah, fan. We just use just a regular fan that we put in each room. Right. And regular fan, regular standing. Just a regular fan. standing fan, and all was well with the universe, yeah. kind of. But. So last night, and in order to create an even playing field, the fan settings have settings from one all the way to six. And so I made it a point to say, what what number did we put the fans on? Three. We put the fans on three, which is a pretty respectful speed. The fans are actually pretty powerful, but 50% full power we put the fans on. And I'm talking one of my room, the living room, the kids' bedrooms, and... I'm not going to name any names, and if you guys can make your assumptions or guesses for yourself, that's fine. But yeah, one of the children, one individual, one kid, individual child, they, it wasn't good enough. You know, they come and ask me if I can. I was sitting watching YouTube. Um, <laughs> Shocking. In the living room. It was like to eleven. To eleven. A little bit of eleven. Yeah, you wake up and you come to me and you say. Can I put a five? Can you put a fan on four? And when you're ready to go to your bed, you turn it. Not go, please. Can you put a fan on four? And when you're ready to go to your bed, you can turn it back to three. I'm like, no, because you guys got me in trouble with Tyler already, and I don't think I need to get in any more trouble with no fan or it's nothing. Not you guys, and then, it's one. Then you said, can you put? Can even if you not wanna put a fan on four? Can you? Can I get a? A standing fan in the room so I can use it instead because the room is very hot. Mm-hmm. Like for myself. But I am um, I going to open a pause this is going to open a pause. Right, we call it mana like, pause. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well I'm like, okay. He said no, I ain't gonna put no fan in the room. The fan were perfectly fine. Right. I said open your window. If I there's a screen to the window, just open it. Uh-huh. He never did. He kissed his teeth and he went to his brother's room. I'm like, whatever. Right. So, yeah, so it's kind of like, 
he went to his brother room wake up the other one that's sleeping already because once he went on the bed and draw the cheat they're going to wake up the other one that's sleeping right and i went in there and said you know you're not very easy kid and i take up the standing fan and i leave yeah so it's 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 becoming more and more challenging as we've created a more comfortable environment that at least one of them it's like I've had a little bit, I want a little more. I've had a little bit, I need a little more. This isn't good enough. I've, I've now created this false sense of elevated status for myself because I'm living with us, or he's living with us, and it's frustrating. I, I, I don't know how best, besides bluntly, which I'm I'm doing bluntly. I don't, uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I can't sugarcoat it. No. But I'm frustrated. It's like, dude, from where you're coming from and from what you've had in the past to what you have now, you're still gonna complain. And part of it's being a teenager, I get that if he is a teenager since we're not mentioning names or pointing fingers and saying who it is but it's also just a matter of like yeah how do you teach contentment to a kid who's come from very little and now has a more, much more comfortable lifestyle to just appreciate what they have and when they don't appreciate it like i want to take it away and say fine forget forget any fan i guess that's what i, what I want to do but i can't because it's hot <laughs> but it's just like i i just I don't miss being a teenager, and as being on the other side of that now as a parent, it's it's very frustrating when you know their brain's not fully developed and their their ego, their sense of self, is the world revolves around themselves, and it's really not their fault. They're at that developmental stage, but I don't know what else to do besides bluntly tell them, "Yo, you got it pretty good. You need to stop your complaining because you don't have to have it pretty good." But then. One of them come to me the first time and said, Why can't you guys put AC in the house? And said, I'm like, No, we're not gonna get no AC. You use the fun, use the fun. Right. Not because we carry go to hotel and thing, then you want this lifestyle of AC. No, you think it's easy, easy um, from easy? It costs a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honey, <laughs> I just laughed, but this one when he said that. If I don't feel a way if somebody said no to me, I said yes. If I ask somebody for something and they said no, I just walk away. I'm not gonna fix with them or malice them. Yeah. I just shame, but I just walk away and hold me down and say, bye, thanks, though. Yeah, he's I'm trying, not gonna malice you or anything. He's trying to say that in his culture, <laughs> meaning Jamaican culture, it's rude to say no. It's not. That's, I don't know where he gets that mindset from. See if something on give somebody if they don't have it. Well, I mean, they, if you have, you can say no. I have it, but I don't want to give you. I, no, it's no. No, it's no. Because I don't accept it. So, if you guys have any suggestions or tips on teaching teenagers or preteens contentment, let us know. It's and not only it's not only one of them. It's all of them. Yeah, all but of them last night was yeah, one Yeah, last night was only one. Yeah. Right. So, that's how I feel about that. As I enjoy my air conditioned vehicle. Uh, mm -hmm. Guys, thanks for listening. Tomorrow, yeah. I'm excited because Dave and Junior don't have any school because of testing. Shocking, I know. We are going to get all of the materials necessary and hopefully plant some seeds, literally and figuratively, um, as the summer gardening competition begins because there is some very nice financial prizes. 10,000 for first place, 5,000 for second, and 1,000 for third, we've decided. And I get to play too. Because I said so. So always gonna give you money when you play. Cause if I'm I paying myself. But if me, we need have to give me money. You know? Yeah. You know me seeds she's planted. So remember that flower pot? Remember that? I plant five uh, seeds. They grow. And then They're what gone. happened? They grow and gone. <laughs> they left the nest yeah. already. <laughs> They're already gone. Hi. Hi. Speaking of contentment, you know, Sonia's headed out to shop today. We have a list, and I've checked it twice. And I'm not sure whether or not Sonia's been naughty or nice, but... <laughs> but I'm not been not what? It's, it's an expression. It's a song, actually. Really? You don't know that one? It's got a list, checked it twice. <coughs> not sure, naughty or nice. You don't know where that's from? It's a Christmas song. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know we shall get we shall get the potty thing. The what? The potty? Oh for the ceiling. Contentment. Not gone in the grey book gone. Like gone. <laughs> okay.
Okay, well, speaking of gone, oh, we're going to get going, yes. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs>